Coach PJ, y'all. Now, bobbing and weaving, rolling, one of the most fundamental aspects of boxing defense and movement. But how do you know you're doing it well? Well, I'm gonna give you a drill at home using some basic items that you can do to perfect your defense and to move well. We're gonna use some duct tape, a pool noodle, and some scissors. Let's check it out. Now, first step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my pool noodle in half, like so. Once my pool noodle is cut in half, I now have two adequate ways to help myself roll and move. Now I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna line it up right on the top of where my head level is, right about shin level. Don't wanna bob and weave too high and definitely don't wanna bob and weave too low. So we're gonna keep it just about head level. Now, I'm gonna take four pre-cut slices of non-residue duct tape and I'm gonna place them right on top of my bag. I'm gonna have one on the top and I'm gonna hold one all the way underneath. Now, just like so. One from there over top. Then I'm gonna take a second piece of tape. Again, doing the same exact mode. One goes over top and then one comes all the way underneath. And then I'm gonna take a third piece of duct tape and secure the two pieces underneath the bag just like so. Then finally, I'm gonna take a fourth piece of duct tape and just to secure the top end, I'm gonna hold it just like this. Now, it might not be the prettiest thing in your gym or garage. However, it may be one of the most effective. Now I have the pool noodle coming out right about where my head level is, thus giving me an adequate description of where a punch would come to my face level. So just using the one on my right, your left, I'm gonna go ahead and set up right in front of my bag. Now that the noodle will be parallel to my face, I have a pretty good level, just like a slip rope, I have something that I can tangibly see to help me roll out of the way and protect myself. Now, simple like this, I'm gonna stand in my boxing stance with the noodle onto my right, simulating a left hook coming towards me. I'm going to roll underneath to my right. I'm gonna simply go into three movements. I'm gonna start with my rear foot going first. I'm gonna drop my hips down following second. And then as I continue this U movement underneath the noodle, I'm gonna bring my left foot and I'm gonna center myself back. Now, this is a simplistic way to bob and weave, but when I get the control, I can go back and do the same thing. Going to my left, I'm gonna take my left foot first dropping my hips underneath so I don't hit my head onto the noodle, and then I'm gonna follow with my right foot. Now again, once this combination of movement becomes kind of second nature, then we can start to fluctuate and maybe add the second noodle, just like so. Now that I've added a second noodle, I now have two punches being able to simulate to give me a better boxing experience. So again, just like from before, I'm gonna start in the middle, and as I roll to my rear side, setting my right foot first, dropping the hips and moving to the left, I can now go back to the left, moving my left foot first, followed by my hips, then my right foot. Now if I do this right, I should be right back in the middle. Then again, I can go to my left now, going with my left foot first, dropping the hips, and moving to the right. I can fluctuate between this drill and roll back and forth here just to kind of get the foundational movements down. When I feel comfortable with my bob and weave there, maybe even switching southpaw, changing up your stance, working the same mechanics, moving the foot, dropping the hips, letting the other foot come behind. Now once movement, the foundation becomes something simple and easy, let's add some punches to it. So simulating the same movement, I can start in the middle and now after I roll to my rear side, I can throw my rear hand. Simulating making someone miss, then making them pay. So timing wise, I wanna move right out the way of the punch and without giving my opponent time to react or recoil the hand, then I wanna fire my punch. You never wanna make someone miss, hang on for a few seconds, oh yeah, and then throw your punch. So in this drill, I wanna work my footwork, then my counter and timing. Very simple, but very proficient 
and a great way to take your boxing to the very next level. All right, now let's go through some drills. I'm gonna take you through a three minute round of ways to practice and to use these awkward movements to get better. Follow me along. We're gonna to go to our rear side first for 30, then to our lead side. So start in the middle, let's roll to the rear and back to the center. Breathing, taking your time, working these mechanics. Remember, repetition is what's gonna get you the mastery. So 30 seconds here, moving the feet, moving the hips, moving the head, getting a little awkward. It's okay, as long as you're working. Good. Now in three seconds, we're gonna go to our lead first. So now, go to the lead, back to the middle. To your lead, back to the middle. Taking your time, trying not to hit the pool noodle, because that would mean that you got hit. Good. Now in about 12 seconds, we're gonna go all the way through. Right, right, then left, left. Ready, set, let's transition to the right, twice, then to the left, twice. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, that's it. Good moving, good control, nice. We're almost there. Now we're gonna add some punches in about 10 seconds. When I go to my right, I'm gonna throw my right. When I go to my left, throw your left. Roll, throw the right. Go left, go left, then roll and throw your left. As I roll to my rear side, I throw that four and right back. Coming underneath, throwing that three. Taking your time, moving well, being smart and productive, that's it. Taking your time, moving those feet. Seven seconds, we're gonna change it up and we're gonna punch the opposite side. Now, as I roll to my rear, I'm gonna throw my lead. As I roll to my lead, I'm gonna throw my rear. So switching things up now and countering as you move is a difficult but very professional movement. Roll lead, throw rear. Roll lead, throw rear. Good. We're gonna do one more and we're gonna simulate one of my favorite fighters, Floyd Mayweather. Ready, set. Let's go. Last one, I'm gonna roll to the middle and I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna roll, roll, pull back, separating yourself away from the noodles. Now that way you can move your bob and weave, but also your pullback. Good. Woo. Make sure you don't miss a rep like I just did. Pull, come back in, roll, roll, pull back. That's it. Almost through it. Get one more. Last one, and best one. There it is. Now those are just a couple fundamental ways to use these household items to improve your boxing. There's endless ways to use them. Get creative, get funky, and keep getting better. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna keep seeing boxing and kickboxing inspired workouts. Be sure to hit the notification so you get them before everybody else. Until next time, Coach PJ, signing out.